is a story you'll see only on News Nation. Correspondent Brian Enton joining the Coast Guard off the coast of Miami for a firsthand look at efforts to smuggle migrants into the U.S. on makeshift boats and rafts. Now, Brian joins us live. The Coast Guard tells you they are seeing more people trying to do this compared to maybe years past. Yeah, Nicole, they have been busy. We are at the Coast Guard Air Station near Miami where these flights leave from to look for the migrants. Oftentimes, it is a life-saving mission because many times uh, these migrants' boats capsize or the rafts they're on just fall apart. A surge of migrants off the Florida coast that hasn't been seen in years. Mostly Haitians and Cubans fleeing to the U.S. on overloaded boats and rafts. We boarded a Coast Guard surveillance mission to see the problem firsthand. Flying from Miami, over the Bahamas, and all the way off the coast of Cuba. Have you noticed an, an increase in the amount of migrants that you see out here? Personally, I have recently, yes. It seems like th there have been more cases recently than maybe a year ago or two years ago. Radar and advanced cameras on the plane can see for miles, zooming in on anything that could be suspicious. We've seen a lot of boats already today. How can you tell if, if it's migrant activity? So usually what we're looking for is the one thing that, that will give it away is the construction of the vessel. So if it appears homemade, meaning it's put together with barrels or styrofoam or anything else to the use for flotation, Sometimes they're wooden. If the Coast Guard sees migrants or really anyone in distress, they can open the rear cargo door of the airplane and drop down life jackets, a life raft, food, water, even a pump to help people if their boat is taking on water. The crew will then radio a Coast Guard cutter in the area to intercept the migrants. And the Coast Guard interdiction numbers are going up for Cubans making the treacherous journey, and especially for Haitians. Almost four times more were intercepted by the Coast Guard in 2021 compared to the previous year. There have been more and more of these cases of them finding these boats full of people over the last month or so. How do you explain that? Well, um, when we look at the migration flow, whenever there is high level of political instability in Haiti, then there is a peak in the migration flow. Haiti has seen an unprecedented amount of instability over the last year, two devastating earthquakes and the assassination of the president, all of it making the Coast Guard busier. We get on scene, we, we figure out what it is and then kind of assess the situation. Okay, are they safe? Are they not safe? Do we need to take action now? Do we need to just wait? So every, every situation is different. Yeah, you never know what you're going to come across. And so many of the migrants do make it to shore. Their boats and rafts are found empty on the beach. But there are a lot, Nicole, that just disappear uh, out in the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, a very unforgiving place, uh, and they are just never found. Oh, all right. Excellent reporting as always, Brian. Thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.